Welcome to the Bourbon Jerk. Thanks for the click. Today we're talking about my top five bourbons of 2023. So in putting this list together, I only considered bottles that I was actually able to purchase this year at a store or online. So I didn't consider any samples that I received or pours that I tried at bars or distilleries. I didn't score any B-Tax or Maker's Mark Cellar Aged or Four Roses 135th. But I do feel like this list can hold its own against just about anything that was released this year. Now, before I get into what is actually on my list, so if you've watched some of my videos, you may have noticed that I like to wear these solid t-shirts with this little logo on it right here. Sort of looks like a little Space Invader. No? You didn't? Well, that's okay, because you know who did? The company that actually makes them. That's right, Into the AM. You reached out and they said they'd like the channel. Would I be interested in working together? I said, heck yeah. I mean, I already wear your shirts and your shorts and your stuff all the time anyway. Let's do it. If you're not familiar with Into the AM, they make all kinds of cool clothing. Graphic tees, solid tees like this one. You can get them with the logo, without the logo, in a v-neck if you like. They come in all kinds of colors. They got shorts, hoodies, flannels, boxers, you name it. They're super soft, comfortable, they fit me just right, and they look pretty good too. So here's what you want to do. Click on the link in the description below. Take a look at their stuff. When you find something that you like, and I'm sure that you will, make sure to use code JERKY at checkout. This is going to save you an extra 10% off your order, and you'll be helping to support the channel. First, we've got Jack Daniels 12 Year. Now, Jack Daniels has really been killing it with their releases the past few years. And this one's probably my favorite. Everything about it has that just right quality to it. Now, there are some of those notes associated with Jack Daniels products buried in there, but they've really been refined by the extra time that this is spent in the barrel. There's a good bit of oak, but not too much. The proof is 107, which is a nice bridge between their barrel proof offerings and their regular single barrels. I feel like it's got all of the notes that a majority of bourbon drinkers really enjoy. It's just a fantastic bottle. Now, there still are some of these floating around, but you're gonna pay secondary prices. It's maybe one of the rare instances where it might actually be worth it. Next, I've got Russell's Reserve 13. When this was first released a couple of years ago, it immediately shot to the top of my list of most sought after bottles. I'm a big fan of Wild Turkey and Russell's Reserve picks, and this promised to ramp it up a notch with the higher age statement. Unfortunately, at least for me, uh, this bottle got a ton of hype and became super difficult to obtain wasn't until this year that I was finally able to track one down. In my opinion, it's very well balanced. It's like a really outstanding Russell's pick with just a little bit more of what you love and a little bit of extra oak to go with. Number three, no big surprise here, 13th Colony Double Oaked. Now this is just another animal altogether. The first thing that you notice about this is the color. This is easily the darkest bourbon that I've ever seen and by a pretty good margin. It's sweet, sticky, viscous, uh, for me, this is like chocolate, coffee, vanilla, maple, cherry, all the things. The finish is killer. It's where the 136.8 proof really comes through. This is just a really unique experience, and I enjoy everything about it. Unfortunately, this was limited to just over 3,000 bottles this year, so it was very difficult to come by, and the secondary prices that I'm seeing on it are just ridiculous. Hopefully they can upscale this and get this out to more people next year. Next we've got Elijah Craig Barrel Proof Batch C923. Elijah Craig Barrel Proofs are definitely some of the best barrel proof bottles that you can actually get. Not only that, but they're usually over 12 years old and less than 75 bucks. When it was announced that this batch was going to be over 13 and a half years old, it really stirred up quite a buzz. It's definitely the hardest batch to find in the past few years but I feel like it lives up to the hype and I'm seeing it on a lot of year-end best of lists. And I have to agree, while these can tend to be a little bit on the firm side, this one is really well-rounded with just the right amount of dark fruit, caramel, and barrel char. And rounding out the list, Bomberger's Declaration. Now this might come as a little bit of a surprise to some, but if you know, you know. As far as Bomberger's goes, I know it's a limited annual release that's bottled by Michter's. I'd never actually seen one of these until I found it on a shelf at a local store a few months ago. Really wasn't sure what to expect with it, just knew it was something that I wanted to check out. 
When one of my buddies asked me what it was like, my first reaction was that it sort of reminded me of 108 proof Eagle Rare. It's got loads of cherry sweetness up front with some really nice brown sugar and vanilla undertones. It's definitely a pleasant surprise. So there's my top five bourbons of 2023. But what do I really know? I'm just some jerk on the internet. Anyhow, if you made it this far into the video, make sure you stay tuned to the next one where we put these in a blind flight and I will pick my favorite bourbon of 2023. Cheers, stay jerky.